as we have developed the application to get the order revenue let us try to build as a jar file and run as jar file and for building the jar file out of scala application uh, we typically use a tool called sbt sbt stands for simple build tool and scala can be compiled i mean scala applications can be compiled into jar files using other tools also such as maven and many other java based compiler tools but sbt is the most popular one so first let us understand how to set up sbt and we will take it from there so i am opening the browser you can just go to scala-sbt.org download.html or you can just google sbt download and you can click on this as i'm using mac it is showing the mac instructions so you can use either use brew install or port install for port install you need to have mac ports on mac and then once it is set up you can just run sbt and hit enter and it will actually um launch sbt console for you once the sbt console is launched that means you have sbt set up properly windows also it's almost same there will be msi microsoft installer which can be downloaded and installed and then uh, go to command prompt run sbt and see if the uh, sbt console is being launched or not that being said once this is done i am already in the di directory where i have created this uh, hierarchy source main scala okay now i will explain why i have created this hierarchy as part of the last topic uh, to create this order revenue dot scala program this is a standard uh, uh, application development hierarchy so source stands for source code main which means the the main module uh, for the for the application and scala is the programming language especially when it comes to scala uh, as it can be interact it can be interacted with java you will see both scala based modules and java based modules in the same project that's why uh, the programming language is more important with when you try to develop applications uh, which are scala based if you have some components developed in java you can just create another directory source main java and you can have the java based source code in that directory and also we will have job resources in source main resources um, for this uh, module so on and so forth there can be many directories like that that being said um, once you have this hierarchy so wherever this hierarchy is that is called as base directory of that project or application or module so in this case the base directory for my application or module is this one so in this base directory where this hierarchy starts we need to create a file called build.sbt if you are familiar with maven you have form.xml same is the case with uh, sbt we have build.sbt okay in this we can define the name of our application with uh, a property called name and then version which is nothing but our application version and it has to be in double quotes and then scala version and this also have to be in double quotes otherwise it will fail okay and in this case i will be using scala version 2.10.6 and then save it and come out and make sure there are no typos i am again uh, reviewing the properties defined a name version which is nothing but application version and scala version using which the application has to be compiled once you, you have these things you can run a command called sbt package and hit enter okay so you can see that it has compiled uh, our program or our module into uh, into classes in this location and then it built the jar file before doing these things on top of these three properties uh, in build.sbt you can also define dependencies if you have def defined dependencies then before compiling and packaging 
it will actually download all those dependencies and then it will compile and package and we will see that at a uh, later point in time about how to add the dependencies and uh, uh, use them as part of the application but for now we don't have any dependencies for the small application so we will be going forward like this only okay now the program is compiled into classes and you can review those things by copying this path and saying lsltr you can see our one scala program is compiled into five classes which is nothing but java bytecode which can be interpreted by jvm and then it also created this jar file you can copy this as of now our program doesn't take any arguments so we can uh, we should be able to run this without any issues uh, directly by using either sbt run so with sbt run you don't need to specify any jar file name or anything you just say sbt run it will run the program and you can see the output here and another way of running uh, this jar file is by using scala itself scala paste that uh, jar file path and hit enter it ran and we see the result immediately okay so this is how you can uh, uh, build your program into jar file and uh, run as jar file quite often the jar file will have many classes with main function if there are more than one class with the main function you just have to give the class name also uh, class in the sense object name uh, which have the main function in our case it is order revenue okay you can see the result i will use the relative path so that you can understand scala 2.10 and then order revenue and also you, you need to understand the rationale behind this structure so as source stands for source data target stand uh, target is primarily to uh, to get the bin, uh, class files and uh, uh, jar files so target is the directory which is created by sbt when we run sbt package in that if you see there is a directory called scala-2.10 so scala is the programming language uh, using which uh, it is compiled okay and 2.10 is the version which is defined as part of the build.sbt in build.sbt we defined scala version as 2.10.6 it took the major version and created the directory so this notation will be useful for upgrading the projects with lateral versions and then you have a jar file and even if you look at the jar file name it started with the name which is defined in build.sbt and then the scala major version using which this jar file is compiled and the version of the application which is nothing but 1.0 so the the naming convention and all is determined by sbt itself when it when we try to run sbt package okay uh, so this is how the jar files will be created and this is how uh, uh, the class in a particular jar file can be run simple scala give the jar file name and then uh, class name uh, which you want to invoke as of now this program doesn't have any arguments and it, it is hard coded with uh, already 2 uh, if you look at the source code source main scala it is hard coded okay but in reality applications like this we have to pass um, the uh, the order id for which we want to compute order revenue uh, in one form or the other uh, one simpler way is we have to pass it as argument and we will see that later how to uh, dynamically pass order id and get the revenue for whatever order id we are looking for uh, we will look into that